hey guys so in this video i'm gonna show you how i created these 3d acrylic flowers i'm going to be using this size for 3d acrylic nail brush from nail nails i'd highly recommend using one if you're going to be doing something like this the acrylic powder that i'm using is mega white and it's also from nail nails so what i'm doing is i'm picking up quite a not a large but for 3d acrylic oh, i'd say it's a relatively large bead of acrylic and i'm placing that onto the nail and then once that bead starts to go a little bit matte i know that i can play with it and i just use the body of the brush to just press into the bead and drag it out to form this kind of tip i then use the brush to just go around the sides and smooth them out and make them a little bit pointy so they can have that sort of petal leafy kind of shape so i did that for the two leaves slash petals let's call them petals that are um, on top of each other and then the one next to them i just i just did like a round sort of petal because i didn't want to drag that acrylic off the nail so i'm really just using my brush to play with it and press down on one side of the acrylic to kind of flatten the inside of the petal out while leaving the outside of it kind of raised So I've left those petals to dry because I'm going to go back to that nail and I'm going to add some more petals on top of them. And I've moved on to the ring finger. So here I'm just creating like a very simple 3D flower. I'm literally just picking up small beads of the acrylic, placing them down, waiting for the little beads to get matte or a little bit matte. And then once they're matte, I just press down on the inside of the bead and just pull it very gently, just press it very, very gently towards the tip of the flower. So I did want to create five petals for this, but I didn't really leave myself enough space for the last one. So I just decided to turn that last petal into a leaf, basically. <laughs> sometimes you have to just <laughs> make the best out of what you've got. And sometimes you have to change your ideas to do that. So then I added another bead to the other side of that flower and I dragged it out to create another leaf just like the one that I did on the other side. So whenever my acrylic bead touches the other bead that's already dry, I just use the tip of my brush to go in between the two beads to separate them because I don't want them to just melt into each other. So underneath that flower, I'm now just going to be creating these random little petals. I'm not going to be doing another full flower. I'm just gonna add some little petals here and there. And again, I'm just picking up a small bead, putting it down. And once it starts to go matte, I press down on one side and gently press towards the other side so i'm not flattening out the entire bead i'm just flattening one side of it when you get comfortable creating these types of flowers then you can start placing more than one bead down at the same time now here the bead i placed at the top started to dry by the time that i got to it so i'm just removing that bead straight off the nail because there's no point in me trying to create something with a bead that's already dry so i just took that off and then i picked up another little bead and just put it right back where the other one was and once that was matte i just pressed it out again and created this little petal shape Oh, 
on this now i think i'm going to be creating the same types of petals again so again just picking up small beads placing them down where i want them to be and then once they're a little bit matte i'm just pressing into that bead on the side that i want to look like it's on the inside of the flower I'm using the tip of my brush to separate those two little petals. Now I'm adding another bead in between those two petals and I'm dragging it out and trying to form this sort of leaf type shape. And I'm pretty much just doing the same thing again all around that nail. Not all around the nail, sorry. I'm doing the same thing again on the side of that nail. And then near the cuticle area, I'm going to make like um, a small flower. Now I tried to be a little bit experimental here and create these sort of heart shaped leaves. Once I started doing it, I was thinking, oh my God, what the hell am I doing? Like, why, why did I do that? But it ended up looking all right, so it's fine. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't like that petal, so I tried to get off of my brush, but it had dried a bit too much, so I just used my little knife thing. What do you call that? A Stanley knife to remove that, and I just took it off the nail. And then I placed another bead in its place and just shaped that into a little heart-shaped leaf. I did the same thing for the heart, wait, I said heart-shaped leaf. I meant heart-shaped petal. Okay, so I did that again for the bottom petal and the petal on the other side as well. To create that sort of heart shape, I just pressed into the bead, but I dragged it out in two different ways. And then using the tip of the brush, I went to the outside of the bead and I just pushed it inwards. So I went back to the middle fingernail and I'm just adding smaller beads of acrylic on top of those petals that I already made and I'm pressing them out. Just trying to make it look like it's got petals layered up on top of each other and I did that on top of all three petals. Now on this nail, I made some ugly ass flowers. I'll be real, I do not like them. I think they look horrendous, but I was trying to be experimental. Someone might like them. Me personally, I don't, but I thought I would just keep this part of the video in just because, you know, like sometimes we do things that we don't like. Sometimes we do things that don't look good. And it is what it is. <laughs> Not everything's gonna be perfect. Not everything's gonna turn out the way how you want it to. And sometimes you just need to suck it up and deal with it because that's the only way you're gonna learn. If you never make mistakes, you're never gonna learn. And that's it. To be honest, I was trying to cover up this ugly nail because the nail was just, 
it's it's clapped like this is one ugly nail or someone else might like it but me personally i don't like the nails so i thought let me just do some massive flowers on top of this so you just can't see how ugly this nail is basically and that's what i did so i just picked up larger beads of acrylic than i used on the other nails and just flattened them out in the same kind of way as i did before To be fair, may maybe I'm being a little hard on myself or hard on these nails. They're not that ugly. I think the top flower turned out a little bit ugly. Maybe both of them did. I don't know. I just don't like the nail in general. So I, I will be uploading the video for this set of nails. I'm going to be uploading that after this one. I just need to do a voiceover for it and then I'll put it up on my channel. These nails kind of remind me of the 90s. They remind me of when I used to go to the Chinese shop in Camberwell and get my nails done. And they do like these super colourful designs. They weren't like this, to be honest. And I, I definitely never had no 3D nail art on my nails, but they were very colourful. The nails were curved, they were square. And there was just a lot going on, you know? So that's just kind of what they remind me of. So here I'm just basically trying to fill in like the little side of that nail that doesn't really have anything to it. And I'm just adding little beads of acrylic and random petals, which are not symmetrical to the other ones at all. And do you know what? I think that's why I don't like these flowers because they are completely like unsymmetrical. They're not that bad, I guess. I don't know, man, I don't like them. So on this flower, I'm just adding another bead of acrylic in between the two petals to create like um to create another petal in between them. And I'm doing that again on the other side. Yeah, no, these flowers are a mess. I don't like them at all. They are ugly. They did look a little bit better once I added the Swarovskis, but still not really. Mm -mm. Yeah, nah. So here I'm using some builder gel in between those petals and I'm going to stick down some Swarovskis using the builder gel. So I'm using my wax pencil to pick up the Swarovskis and put them in place. I think here I picked up the AB ones and I put them down but I didn't really like them because you can't really see them that well. I think because the nail is so colourful and so glittery they just didn't stand out so I decided to remove those and I placed on just the normal silver crystals instead. And I felt like those looked much better. On this middle finger, I wanted to use this, this crystal that's quite large. It's not a flat back crystal. It has like the, the pointy back. And of course, that's not gonna sit flat on the nail and I can't exactly file the crystal down. So I decided to use this pointy bit that I've got for my e-file and I just drilled a hole into the nail. Now, to be clear, if you were to do this on an actual person, you wouldn't be able to do this on their nail bed. Or if you did, you'd have to be really, really careful. Careful? You'd have to be really careful because um, using the e-file in the same place for too long will cause heat and it will hurt the person. So on all the nails, I'm just using my Builder Gel. I think it's um, 
blue sky builder gel i'm just placing some of the builder gel down and then placing the crystals on top of that and then i'm curing it and those crystals won't go anywhere well i personally have never had any problems with crystals falling off or anything like that So the good thing about using Builder Gel is you've got as much time as you want to move those crystals around until you're happy with the way they look. And this is the end result once I'd top coated the nails. I will be uploading the tutorial for these nails very soon so keep an eye out and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>